After the roaring success of my first video, I'm tired of atheists. I decided to make another one to battle the godless people. The front man of this group carries the name Richard Dawkins. Dawkins is like the Moses of atheists. He flees with his flock into the barren desert of science. From his bastions of irrational, he wrote the book The God Delusion. In his book, Dawkins stressed to debunk the proof of God from the argument from beauty. Dawkins, naturally falsely, claims that all beautiful things, such as music, paintings, my voice, and literature, only prove the existence of the person creating them, and not of God. In this lecture, I will yet again deliver proof that, yet again, the atheists are wrong. I will not prove the existence of God through the argument from beauty. Instead, I will prove the existence of the devil and naturally simultaneously the existence of God through what I call the argument from ugliness. Have you ever visited the world outside your house? Dawkins certainly has not. Have you ever been to a mall and seen how people waste their money on stuff they don't need and don't want? Have you ever been lying on a peaceful beach all by yourself when suddenly an overweight person walks next to you using the same swimming dress they bought ten years ago and also ten stones ago while filling their gut with food that could lubricate the machinery of an entire printing press? It's not a pretty sight and not of earthly origin. Have you ever been to a stand-up comedy club, listening for hours upon hours how a middle-aged office clerk tells his jokes with incredibly nagging voice while being the only one who laughs at them? After an infernal two hours, when your headache painfully dances with the rhythm of your heartbeat, how can anyone claim that the argument from ugliness doesn't prove the existence of the devil? Have you ever been standing in front of a mirror after a long night out with a fluorescent lamp illuminating the room? If not, then give it a try and cheerfully understand the argument from ugliness. Do you own a radio? Richard Dawkins certainly does not, or at least he has never flipped the switch to one position. Your ears will be immediately thrilled with the unholy noise of generic pop music that is set for the standards of a deaf and desperate teenage girl. Your ears will bleed when the never-ending soft rock channel plays its lobotomizing tunes. You will cry when you mistakenly venture into the metal channel and when you are forced to abandon your final hope concerning the human race. This is, of course, if you happen to actually hear any music among the endless mass of inoriginal commercials of a product you don't need. And how can one claim that this monstrosity fits the fabric of an universe without supernatural force? And how can Dawkins deny the existence of the devil if he has ever watched TV? An endless mass of reruns likes the lava flow in the lake of fire of pathetic soap operas that have been made thousands upon thousands of episodes cannot be without a supernatural explanation. And how can Dawkins ever, ever explain the demonic phenomenon crafted in the dark realms of no natural explanation called reality TV without referring to the supernatural evil entity. There is no greater proof for the argument from ugliness and no greater evidence for the existence of the devil and therefore for the existence of God than these hideous examples. Dawkins may have read and wrote many books and achieved degrees, but the nature of our world seems to have flown unnoticed past his eyes like a human out of a monkey, as we are told to believe. If you thought that this video was shockingly horrible, 
by giving it just a one star instead of five, or writing a comment stating so. At least you are forced to admit that you cannot possibly no longer be an atheist.